Gary, let's talk about the Arkansas Razorbacks because, you know, Sam Pittman, another coach that got a lot of hype over after his first few years, you know, they come out of the Chad Morris era. It's, it's as dark as it's ever been in Fayetteville. Sam Pittman is not a household name in the coaching industry when they hire him, but he rockets up people's coach rankings after a couple of solid years to start. And whether it was injuries or scheme or just a bad fit uh, with offensive coordinator, everything just fell apart for the Razorbacks this year. They start one in six and Gary, it, it was just ugly from the word go KJ Jefferson looked uncomfortable in the new offensive scheme. I remember back in the summer when they were talking about, you know, wanting to make him more of a pocket passer, just thinking why that that's never <laughs> been his game. And, you know, obviously they suffer a lot of injuries. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of off the field. It's stuff you can't control for Sam Pittman, but to call 2023, anything other than just a colossal failure for him is, you know, I think being way too kind. Well, and especially because we were told going into the season that KJ Jefferson and, you know, Rocket Sanders, they were going to be the the greatest duo, you know, of quarterback, running back duo in, in the whole country. We were told that this was a chance, maybe not one, but they, they're surely two. And, you know, take Sanders out of it for a second. KJ Jefferson is not a good quarterback. And, and I don't think I've ever tried to defend that he is a very good quarterback. There are some questions about who the top quarterbacks were going into the SEC. I've always put him low on all of those lists. Uh, my numbers back me up. Uh, he had the same touchdown interception, interception ratio as Spencer Rattler, the 19-11, or the 19-8. He had, that's where it was, so many fewer passing yards. 2,100 passing yards on the season. That's not good. That's just not going to get it done uh, on the course of the season only rushed for 400 as their leading rusher on the season. So KJ, just not it, right? Not it at quarterback. You need something else, right? So figuring out the quarterback position has to be priority number one for Arkansas going into the offseason. Maybe they will. I don't know. But they, they clearly need more, and they need more talent across the board. They're just not a very talented team. The offense has really struggled. The defense has been worse. And, you know, it just feels like it's been such a long time since Arkansas has been relevant. It's been since their new offensive coordinator used to coach there <laughs> that they were, they were relevant. And so, you know, maybe Petrino can turn things around. You know, obviously a failed stint with College Station and, and, and A&M. But maybe Petrino can turn things around for Arkansas. That seems to be the only hope that the Razorbacks still have under Pittman right now is that Petrino shows up, turns your offense into something of yesteryear, and you're back to relevance. You know, maybe for them, I hope that it works. but call me a doubter on that one as well. Things are, are rough in Fayetteville right now. They are. And, you know, I tried to find some positivity for South Carolina. I'm struggling to find it for Arkansas, man. Like it is going to be a very interesting season next year. Obviously, you know, they, they lose KJ Jefferson, KJ Jefferson enters the transfer portal. I think he did. He did officially transfer out, right? I'm not making that. I up. think so. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to go check that. But yeah, I think you're right. Um, you know, but the they're schedule, also they're recruiting 14th out of 16 in the SEC. When you combine, I was just about to say, Randy. I was just about to say when I think I was a little too generous in giving the recruiting grade here because, yeah, in the new SEC, they when you combine transfer portal and high school traditional recruiting, they're 14th out of 16th. That's yeah. not going to cut it. And, you know, they've got a difficult non-conference game at Oklahoma State. Uh, they've got difficult conference games against AM, Tennessee, LSU, Texas, Mizzou. It, I'm, I'm struggling to find some positivity for Arkansas. If you're an Arkansas fan and you are optimistic about 2024, please write in. Please let us know what we're missing here. But th this could be I, – I, Sam Pittman is squarely on the hot seat. I think he barely survived this year. The Bobby Petrino hire is, I think, right. SEC shorts joked, just an absolute hot seat Hail Mary. <laughs> um, and and it, it shows, right? I, I think the talent on the field is going to make it really hard for him to survive 2024. Yeah, one quick note on that. KJ Jefferson does transfer to UCF. Okay, thank you. So I, I he's, remember he's a bigger, slower, you know, John Rice Pumley there. So, you know, you're, you're working with that. I, you know him and the Gus Malzahn offense could be really spicy. Like that kind of reminds me of some of the quarterbacks that he had at Auburn 
over I just, the years. Uh, just press to doubt. I'll, I'll doubt this one for now, but we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm not rooting against him. I hope he can find success and have a good career, but you know, I, I haven't seen anything at Arkansas so far that makes me think he's going to be a, a massive success with UCF. Well, Gus Malzahn will not try to make him a pocket passer. I can almost that, that surely guarantee that you true. that. And so that's going to set him up for a little bit more success right off the bat. Gracious, yeah. how about that?